body. Good. Welcome back, angels. Today we're doing a art stream. It's been so long since I've done an art stream, you guys. I honestly don't even remember the last time I have. Um, I might not be talking as much this time just because I don't, <laughs> I don't really have a whole lot to talk about and I tend to get real focused when I'm drawing. So we're gonna see how it goes. Trying to stay hydrated, give me one second. I'm gonna set up so that I've got chat on my phone. If I'm not watching chat on my phone, I'm probably going to miss any comments, and I don't want to do that. So give me two seconds for that. All right, there we go. Now I've got it set up so that I can watch chat. 
So if anybody sends me a comment, I'll be able to see it. So for now, I'm just, oh wait, actually one second, you guys, I forgot to go get my drawing glove. I have my drawing glove so now I can actually draw and it not be an issue so all right so today I want to draw my character rock it has been quite a time trying to decide how this character is gonna look and I know how I want him to look but now I gotta figure out how I want to draw him so how, how am I gonna draw him mm. so I've got a pretty decent sized canvas. I could just start with like a portrait type thing, but honestly, I kind of want to draw like something full body. So this character is going to be, is, he's a Galric, so he's half Goliath, half Orc. So I've already got his appearance in mind, but well, how do I want to stage this? Honestly, I should have thought of this stuff before I started streaming. Now that I'm actually streaming, I'm like, what the hell am I doing? So let's see. I could have him like sitting. You know what? We're going to... We're gonna rotate the canvas. I know exactly how I'm gonna draw this boy. We're gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Heck yes. And we are going to, first of all, scribble some stuff in the corners because we're gonna have some flowers drawn up here. And then we're gonna have that sort of be our, our landscape. And we're gonna a little bit more over here because we're going to draw a flower field. I don't know how we're going to populate this whole thing, but you know what? We're going to figure it out. So for now, we're also going to have him sitting. We're going to have him sitting in the middle. I'll say to draw like a big ass neck. This dude is huge. Like we've got small player characters this round and I'm over here like as rock. Like I am short as hell in real life, all right? I'm short as hell. My character is 10 feet tall. I literally am half the size of my character. All right, so, got the big guy. He's gonna be huge. Like, he is basically Hulk proportions, but it's just a sweet baby. He's fun to play. All right, so we're gonna do like cross the leg, or at least as crossed as you can get when your legs are freaking massive. And we're gonna have to draw big ass feet because he is large, but he's also gonna be wearing boots, so. There we go, cross leg. And we're just gonna throw some little scribbles in here because I'm gonna throw a lot of flowers around him. And honestly, actually I got an idea. I wanna draw like a teeny tiny little bunny right here. And it's like, when I said teeny tiny, I meant teeny freaking tiny, because this man is 10 feet tall. Actually, I'm gonna... <laughs> to be honest, I don't even know how to draw rabbits. The claws up there. Little feet. Rabbit tail. At some point, I'm gonna have to look up some reference for the rabbit, but you know what? There we go. Rabbit shape. Thing's tiny. It's just gonna be looking up at him like, holy shit, what is this? because dude is massive. Yeah, a little bunny. There we go. I have him looking down at the rabbit. And then arms. Absolutely massive arms. Mm 
Like I played two pretty spellcasters in a row, so I was like, I'm obligated this time to play just absolutely massive, no brain Alvron. I'm gonna have him holding some flowers, and of course they're gonna look super small in his hand because he's massive. I actually hate showing off my usual sketching style because I feel like it's terrible. So I'm a little bit, a little bit, little bit of stage fright going on here. Like I said, I haven't streamed art in actual years. Like it's. It's been over a decade, legitimately over a decade, since I streamed art. I'm just now realizing this, and now I feel old. <laughs> I never really streamed art a lot when I was younger, because I didn't really have any viewers, and I didn't have a good PC. So, like, my streams were super laggy. Also, I apologize in advance, my keyboard is absolutely loud, because I apparently work better when my keyboard is loud, because it gives me that feeling of... Like, it makes me feel like I'm more productive, even if I'm not actually all that productive, you know? Also trying to stay somewhat hydrated and caffeinated so I can stay awake. I've been very tired this week. Actually, I'm going to switch the color a bit darker. I like sketching with pink because it's pretty easy to see. I, I don't like that. All right, there we go. I'm also usually drawing on my iPad. So admittedly, I tend to forget my hotkeys quite a bit. Ooh, wrong, wrong tool. All right, this dude's got well-defined chin. My tools are also a bit different from PC to iPad, so a little bit of a learning curve going to be happening here. It's been quite a while since I've drawn on my PC. I feel like Rock would have an aquiline nose, like the sort of bowed out kind of bridge of the nose. I really think that nose shape is very pretty, and I see so many people that have the aquiline nose and hate it, and I'm like, why? It's gorgeous. You look gorgeous. Please stop hating yourselves. But I feel like as an artist, I'm also like a lot more willing to appreciate different types of features. All right, so we want his eyes to be about here. Rouse. Trying to go for like a sort of worried expression or like confused because usually tiny cute things don't like to approach my boy rock. What did I do? Oh, I switched to the eraser. Ah. I was like, that's not the kind of mark I'm aiming for. And then... Mouth in this general area. Usually when I sit down to draw, I have somewhat of a plan of what I'm going to do. And today I was just like, screw that. We're just going to wing it of shows. I feel like it's it's kind of obvious that I'm kind of just doing whatever feels right. I feel like his neck isn't big enough. Dude's 10 feet tall and weighs like 500 pounds. He should have a massive neck. He's also... Again, a Galric Barbarian? So, like, he's he's huge. He's completely unlike any kind of character I've ever played. But I'm kind of enjoying it. Like, I had to be quick on the draw with my last two characters, because I was playing a Bard and a Warlock in these last two campaigns, and now I'm like, forget it. I 
I've had enough of being pretty. I want to be strong. I want brows to sort of tilt up, but I also want them to be kind of... I'm just gonna have to shape that one. This tool is not quite doing what I want it to. Or that does not look right at all. I feel like I'm probably gonna undo and erase like a ton. Actually, now that I think about it, his forehead should kind of have a slope to it. With that orcish features. It's like he's Goliath sized, but very orcish in, in appearance. I also feel like I need to drop his chin down slightly. He is a kind of young man, but he is one of those young men that looks much older because he is large. A friend like that. And that's also the friend that is basically the basis of the main character in the book we're working on. basically be looking like all the way down. So a bit like that. I'm also gonna figure out how to do like a bit of a pout. I feel like you should be pouting a little bit. Like how do you pout as an orc? How, how do you pout with, with massive tusks? Like the, those orcish bottom teeth. How how you do that? Also I forgot I gave him earrings. Like, his whole backstory is that basically, like, he's just this un- this misunderstood gentle giant. <laughs> and, like, he keeps getting in trouble because he keeps trying to stop other people from getting into trouble, and then it ends up with him in trouble. So that's what ended up with him in a prison camp, basically. And when he returned, he found his mother missing. So, oh no, gotta go save mom. All right, so. We already know we're gonna have to have the orcish teeth. To be honest, I don't really know how to go about this. I'm gonna figure it out, but man, I am really just doing whatever at this point. And I swapped to the eraser again! At least I figured out what that button on my pen does, but it doesn't really help me stop from doing it! I feel like I should have it point the look. Ah, oh my god, come on. I'm clearly not used to this pen. Thin upper lip. Forgot to do that bit that leads into the filtrum. And 
bottom lip kind of thing. Because he does have a very defined face. Like he's basically all muscle, but at the same time, I feel like the chin needs to come out a bit further now that I'm thinking about it. We're gonna get there. I also apologize that I have to stop like every five seconds. My arms get very fatigued very fast. It's very challenging having that problem as an artist. that thing out a bit more. Or thing, tusk. Not quite sure what to call them, to be honest. I feel like tusk is the right word, but I keep wanting to say fang. does not help at all. I don't really have the best of drawing angles here. <laughs> I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer. Like I switched to the Huion canvas and ever since I did I'm like I'm having so many troubles getting used to drawing on it. change a lot as I go through. And of course he will have no facial hair because he is a young man. than I thought I would be. can't tell if it's because I'm hot or if it's because I feel like I can't get a good angle to draw at. Like it's either too low or it's too high. Let's see if adjusting my chair will help. If I can find the right lever to do it. Oh, is that as high as it goes? Ah, that's lame. Oh well, let's see if this helps a little bit. I feel like my chair was too low. Like the drawing desk, I have to have it a lot lower. I guess that works. But now I feel like this tooth isn't big enough. There, tooth. All right. And we're gonna give him a few scars because he was in a prison camp. I feel like he can't really go through life in a prison camp without coming out with a few scars. Yeah. Scarred face. And he has kind of short hair. to the front. Like I said, he is still a pretty young guy. 
So I feel like he would at least try to look somewhat, somewhat fashionable. Man, I'm watching chat with my phone and I feel like I'm gonna have to plug my phone out before, <laughs> before long. Oh man, I've already got one hell of a knot building in my shoulder. There, there's our boy Rock's face. He looks scary, but don't worry. He is, he is a sweet baby. Massive chest. Absolutely massive chest. I also have to get used to not moving things with my screen. Because this is not a touch screen. It is so far my only complaint about the Fleet on Canvas. Like, I like this tablet. I like it a lot. But I, it's not a touch screen, so I can't zoom in and adjust things on the screen. And I like being able to do that. That's what I'm used to doing. So now that I can't do that, it's very frustrating. Anywho, I draw like some of the basic structure of his body before I start trying to draw his clothing. Probably just gonna have him in like out of armor for this one. This could be like rock on an off day. I needed to make a reference of him because my mini finally got- oh, I had a phone call. I completely missed a phone call! Uh, apparently they also tried to call yesterday. Didn't get that call either. But it's whatever. I typically don't answer phone calls unless I'm already expecting one. Cause like... Who is gonna be calling me anyways? Nobody should be calling me. There we go. Super beefy! Alright, I'm gonna go back to the underdrawing layer and I'm gonna sketch out where I want his shirt collar to come. And I feel like it'll fall open just slightly like that. Not the laces there. So yeah, there we go. And then I also feel like on an off day he'd probably have his sleeves rolled up. Because honestly, that's just like peak comfort style. And also looks good on them big dudes. Just saying. Okay. So I nudged my phone and my where I was watching chat disappeared. <laughs> Just wanted to be able to see if I have any messages. Like I, I don't want to ignore anybody's comments, but I also have to be very mindful of my battery percentage and what else is going on in my life. Which currently isn't a whole lot, but that's going to change real soon. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff that's going to be happening here in the next little bit. To be honest, I'm probably going to be a real tired bean, so I'm probably going to be playing like mostly easy games. And probably going to be working on art stuff that I already had planned or like had already started instead of starting new projects for stream, you know? there because obviously we want places that have to go through the holes. All right, and 
erase that bit. And put some fold stairs. Like, I feel like this shirt would be super tight. Because this man is just muscle. Because I also... Should go ahead and draw that forearm in. Very big for him. I'm gonna rest my shoulder for a sec. I haven't mentioned it before, but I have fibromyalgia, so I get really tired really easy. And it's one of the reasons why I'm such a slow artist, and also why my reaction time tends to be absolute shit, and why I die so many times in video games. Your skills get really impacted when your brain is very, very opposed to functioning correctly. Alright, rolled up sleeves. I feel like if Rock were a real person, he would just be that one, like, super kind dude in, like, whatever blue-collar job is around. Like, he'd, he'd be, like, the scary-looking school crossing guard or something. Like, he looks scary, but he's actually just a really nice person. Like, at one point, somebody put in our party group chat, like, what would make your character go absolutely freaking berserk? And I'm like, that is an easy question, man. Rock would just go completely nuts if he saw somebody, like an innocent person, just being attacked or assaulted. Like, you see any kind of criminal activity, and Rock is about to fix that shit. Like, you heard an animal in his presence, and bro, you better say your prayers, because you are dead. He's a good being, and that's why I'm having so much fun playing him in session. It's just really fun when I have to do, like, his deep-ass voice, because, like, he's huge and very muscly and strong, so, like, he would have a very deep voice. But I obviously do not have a deep voice, so I have to put on... I have to go low as low as I can. That's hard. That's hard. So I gotta say, going deep is a lot easier than going high, because my voice will crack. And if anybody just happens to pop in, I do take commissions, and I actually really want to stream commissions at some point. Like, I might not be able to stream the whole process because I can only stream for such short times, which really sucks. I wish I could stream longer. The day will come, but that day is not today, sadly. I feel like that needs to come up a bit higher. Just like up to this point where it starts to wrap around a little bit better. There we go. It's my boy Rock trying to look small while he sits in front of this rabbit. <laughs> All right. Oh, his hand. Yeah, sim knuckles. And I don't know, I have no idea how this is going to look, but I'm like turning my head so that I can draw the <laughs> tendons popping out. Actually, I feel like I need to move that. Uh, M? Is that the... Yeah. Actually, I think I need L. No, not L. So I guess I need M. Yeah, nope, that didn't work. All right. Fine, I'll click it. Trying to get to the lasso tool using hotkeys that didn't didn't work out very well. Move it up. We're gonna rotate it slightly. I'm gonna take that one and we're gonna rotate it slightly the other way. Woo! Not cancel, hit okay, there we go. This is the knuckle. 
and then wraps the knuckle. This is difficult. <laughs> I can't turn the canvas as easily as I can. On the iPad, so this is presenting a very fun challenge. Alright, there we go. What kind of flowers should we draw? I feel like they should be like daisies or something, like something super innocent. <laughs> Just because this guy's like absolutely massive. But like, he's also very gentle. So anyways, let's... Draw some stems. It's probably gonna have like a ton of them just because. So I'm gonna draw a few of the daisies are kind of interesting because like they've they've got like a billion petals. I feel like there should also be like some clovers in there. Or like dandelions. Something that's like not really considered a flower, but like still looks pretty. Let's do that. Let's, let's put a little dandelion right here. That, that can be our, our little dandelion. And then we'll put clover bud right in there. And we can put another clover bud right there. And then another, another dandelion before we throw some more that look like daisies. I'm also like fully aware that these like don't look anything like the flowers I just I just mentioned, but honestly, I'm not expecting it to right out the gate, so it's fine. Another daisy, another clover bud, another dandelion, just to fill out some space here. There we go! Tiny little bouquet of flowers. Look at that. You know what? Just because. Ju just because. I'm gonna put a daisy up here. Cause how cute would our big guy look with the daisy just hanging out behind his ear? There, and you can just you can just see the the. <laughs> this is super cute. I'm having fun with this. I am actually having fun with this. My DM's gonna love this. Of course, my DM's gonna love anything I do, anyways, because my DM is my twin brother. <laughs> Honestly, I'm probably going to use some of the, like, painterly brushes to just, like, scribble in a background. Have some rolling hills in the background. There we go. And then we'll throw some big flowers in the front after we get some more detailing done on our boy here. All right, so. It's probably gonna have a pretty big belt as well. I'm also gonna throw another line there because like I feel like whatever shirt he's wearing would be super tight around his chest. barely been going and I'm already like worn out. I <laughs> forgot how tiring art streams can be. Like it's not at all like it is and I'm just like sketching character art and portraits and things like that. Like hanging out in the living room. Alright so here are we gonna have his pants end about here? And they would be like tucked into his boots. And of course, his boots are going to have to be enormous. Probably gonna put a steel toe on the front too. Just to kind of have 
add to that working man persona? Alright, so how do I want to do the boots? I could do like a flap along the side. Like have some leather that kind of folds down. I don't know, I feel like that might look a little too piratey. But like, honestly, I don't really care right now. <laughs> Plus it kind of fits anyways, my last campaign. We were all like pirates, basically. And steel toe cap. Heel of the boot. Did not like that, honestly. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna rotate the canvas. I'm trying not to rotate too much, but like, I feel like it's necessary. Very least it is for me. Damn. I don't know if it's just this hot inside the house or if it's because I'm like working my arm trying to hold it up and draw. One of the reasons why I have a hard time working at an easel because my shoulders especially get very tired. Might also just be making his feet too small because, like I said, dude would be huge. So you know what? We're gonna up the brush size, go back to the underdrawing layer. We're gonna draw a bigger boot size. But we're also gonna show less of the boot underneath. Alright, we're also gonna put a bit of patching there. Steel toe. There we go. That looks a bit more to size. Dude's huge, so of course he would have massive boots. I feel like it'd also be a little bit scrunched up because of the way he's sitting. Rotate it again just a bit. And put some rivets along it too. Give it that. Like, I guess it kind of makes it look like it's a little bit more handmade. Like maybe he customized his own boots. Like that seems like the kind of skill that Rock would have just hiding. Nobody really thinks he's all that great at anything. And then something rips on his boots and he's like, ah, fuck, gotta fix this now. And everyone's like, dude, you can fix your own boots? Like, why wouldn't I? Who else is going to fix my own boots? Also, I hope everyone enjoys the music because I love these songs. I commissioned them from RF Music and I absolutely love them. So honestly, if you need music for your own streams, Consider going to them, because they rock. There we go. Big stompy adventurer's boots. I'm actually making good time on the sketch here. Alright, so now once again, I want the boots to end about here. Okay, I'm going to fix that. 
is honestly with the way his body comes down. Yeah. But more like that. And lines down to indicate the knee. but I feel like I can't get the right setup. Like, I don't have the perfect setup where I can just be in the good position and just draw nonstop. So I'm stretching every five seconds. It's a little bit aggravating, but honestly, I gotta do that. Otherwise, I'll be in a lot more pain if I don't. I did make sure, at the very least, to take my meds before stream. So, like, hopefully... Less... Hopefully that'll mean less pain, but also, like... Fiber is completely unpredictable, so sometimes I can go... I can have days where I'm like, no pain at all, and then there's some days where it's like, how am I functioning right now? And like, some days it's just the fatigue. Most days, it's like one or more joints that just decided, you know what? We're gonna hurt you today. I feel like he should also have some scars on his hands. So I'm gonna put some scars on his arms. I'm not really being picky with them, I'm just kind of placing them wherever. Just random ass scars, because this boy's been through a lot. For like, no reason. I mean, like, there is a reason, but also no reason, you know? Oof. My wrist. I thought about also working on my thumbnails today because I'm making my own thumbnails for the channel. And I thought, you know what? Nah. My DM needs a reference. So I'm going to stream it because I'm extra. Oof. That's soreness, y'all. And then I'm probably going to have to use my phone to <laughs> look up some reference so I can draw a bunny that doesn't look absolutely terrifying. All right, so the joint's there. All right, so it's basically just gonna be the top of the boot. Pretty much like that. And then we'll draw the tiny bunny. Teeny, tiny bunny. Oh, there's a spooky under my desk. Trying, like I'm trying, I tried to stretch out my leg and I felt fur. Ooh. I definitely feel like the angle is working against me here. I'm gonna like move it up where I'm actually sketching on it. laces. Uh, that's how everybody does their boots, right? Alright, that looks good enough to me. Is it shift? Is it? Yeah, shift was the... And there, there we go! There, there's a boy rock! Alright, let's do belt buckle. Also gonna put some loops on here. And 
let's do some pouches. Because he would have some pouches. There we go! Actually... Get that down here. Draw some grass in around him. Like, honestly, again, I'm probably gonna just, like, play around with some of the painterly brushes to get that. Draw some flowers over here. Scribble some in wherever we want them to be. And then... some daisies in here. And I do mean scribble. was my wrist is already exhausted which is kind of bad because we got a whole other hour to go i gotta figure out this setup like is my chair really at the highest setting <laughs> i really can't get it to go any higher That's depressing. I have a very big problem that I am short. Because it makes things like this real difficult. There's some other tall blades. Up at the front here. Have some intersect the bunny. Actually, that should be a bit shorter. This is closer to his body means it would look a lot smaller because he is so large. Throw some more random ass details in here. Scribble in where we're gonna place some flowers eventually. And then scribble in some daisies. hard part. The tiny bunny. I'm gonna look up what a, a rabbit sitting looks like. Alright, there we go. What's a sitting rabbit look like? Like a real life one. I guess that's close enough. Trying to find... There we go! A rabbit sitting up. I'm also gonna need to make that eraser a lot smaller. So, they got their... Goofy chest. Goes. Also gonna have to reference a lock, or... Not a lop ear. I forgot what they're called when their ears stand up. Take 
Fill. And then like I need to move these back paws back. for a rabbit with its ears up. There we go. Because, like, rabbits have a very interesting ear shape. So I kind of want to get it right. on the side. And actually, now that I think about it, this ear probably needs to be a little bit taller. Or at least, like, moved up a bit. Because their ears are very much on top of their head. a bit more. It's like they have very round faces. Like little round heads. They're very cute. Alright, there we go. Tiny rabbit, large friend. Alright, so now I'm going to lower the opacity down on that one. I think I can actually erase that layer since all right well now we don't need our reference anymore now it's just a matter of figuring out how the hell i'm going to color this guy because like usually i ink directly like usually i ink it and then i draw it but i don't want to ink all the background details so like should i just go in and try and paint it I don't know. I don't know how I want to do it. I might just ink him and then... Like, I can ink it like I usually do, I guess, and then I can color the line work. All right, textured pen. I always start with the face details. Ooh. Let's stretch my arm and get some water real quick. Even if it's getting cold where you live, please, friends, remember to drink water. Drinking water is very important. Very important to stay hydrated. Very, very much want my angels to stay hydrated, too. Whew, okay. At some point, I'll also probably collect more songs. Like, I'll commission more songs. But for now, I only have the three, and the other two... Like, this one's my favorite of the three, so I like to listen to this one the most. So this is the one that I have. Remember which tool I'm using now. Also rotate the canvas a lot more when I'm inking. I would apologize, but honestly, I don't feel bad about it. I don't know that I'll be able to finish this one in the span of what's left of the stream. 
probably not knowing me because I usually take longer to color than I do to draw. So at the very least, I'll make sure the finished version is posted. This pen is also like the, the sensitivity isn't what I want it to be. I feel like it could be more sensitive, but I also feel like if it was much more sensitive than it is right now, it might be a little bit too sensitive, and I probably wouldn't be able to get good lines out of it. So I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. I'm not quite sure where I want it to be. Actually, now that I think about it, I want to change the way this eyebrow ends, so I'm going to erase that. I kind of want it to like taper off. This is so vastly different than drawing on the iPad that it's like actually throwing me off. Yeah. The way it kind of tapers off a little bit more. Oops, not what I wanted to do. It's also a challenge because I keep forgetting my hotkeys. My professors would be ashamed. Always use your hotkeys. Always use your hotkeys. It makes you so much more efficient. I am I'm not an efficient artist. Like, not in the least. Actually, I'm gonna undo a lot of those marks. That's a bit better, I guess. I would try to do more of this without rotating the canvas, but like I can already feel my wrist straining just trying to keep this angle, so that's eh, not gonna happen. This is about the best you're gonna get. I feel like just the tension from just holding my arm up is just murdering my shoulder. So yeah, definitely not going to be able to finish this within the span of the stream. A valiant effort will be made, at least. But I'm also just a very slow artist, and I fully recognize that. <laughs> and I also did start from the beginning. If it wasn't for the fact that I need this done by Sunday, I would probably continue streaming it. And I might because I might not be able to do Wednesday's book stream. I don't think the book is going to be here on time, and it most likely won't even be here on time by Friday either. It really just depends on what time it gets delivered, because it's expected Friday. Or actually, I think it's expected Wednesday. Like, between Wednesday and Friday. So it's... Either way, it's most likely not going to get here on time, and I do still have to check in with the author. Like, we've already gotten permission to read the books on stream, but I am going to check with the author and go over, like, permissions and things like that before the actual book stream. Because, like, if they want me to read more of it on stream and archive it, I will do that. If they don't want me to archive it at all, I will do that. Really, it just ultimately depends on what the author wants. Because, like, it's their book. The whole point is to, like, highlight some authors, especially self-published authors. Basically the ones that don't have epic marketing teams. And I think my music just stopped. That was the whole first hour. There we go. Music's back. Alright, let's get back to inking Rockstow's. Nostril. 
There we go. Actually, I want to thicken it up a bit at the base there. That's a bit better. I'm also trying not to spend too long in any one area, but I'm also just, again, I have to stop every few minutes and stretch because of the angle being so bad. But like, I can't, I guess my chair doesn't go any higher than it currently is. And like, I'm already short anyway, so I've got my, my feet resting on a box under the desk and I'm still not tall enough because I can't lower the desk. Pain in the ass. I guess I need like, God, I hate, I'm gonna hate myself for making this joke, but I guess I need a booster seat. <laughs> I just need some way of like lifting myself up higher so that I'm not like scrunching my wrist up so much while I'm drawing. Like I can get over the shoulder pain more, but like my wrist is dying, y'all. I also feel like Brock would have really pretty eyelashes for some reason. I'm not really sure why I have this image in my head. But I feel like he would have eyelashes to be jealous about. I genuinely don't know why I have that idea in my head. Which is kind of sad, because this is my own character. Like, where's this idea coming from? I don't know. This is just the way my brain sees him. But he is also, like, he's very soft. He's a soft guy. Very soft-hearted. Very gentle. So maybe that's it. He's, like, super scary looking and covered in scars, but, like, pretty eyelashes. Because he's actually nice. Not out of place at all. <laughs> I love it. I might actually just add a little bit more scribble to it just to balance it out. It's it's the inking layer, it doesn't matter that much. I mean it does, but it doesn't. I also don't usually put details in the eye until the coloring layer. But honestly, actually now that I think about it. I might just do just the people and put the highlights in, otherwise. The question is, what kind of pupil should he have? I guess it would still be just like a regular eye. I don't know. That's feel kind of strange putting in the people, but oh well. I mostly just feel weird about all my decisions as an artist right now because I, once again, I haven't streamed art in so long. I feel like I'm just like second guessing myself too much because I rarely ever stream art. Although I guess I rarely ever stream anything in general. Like I only just started streaming consistently recently and like I planned to stream consistently more often months ago like back when I posted the like debut teaser like I was supposed to be doing a lot more stuff way back then and it just did not work out that way like we thought I had everything taken care of so that I could stream and lo and behold that didn't work I'm one of those people that has the curse of, like, every time I make plans, something inevitably goes wrong. Not that way, I want you to rotate that way. There we go. Throw some bottom lashes on there just so it doesn't look super weird. Ordinarily, I try to make my art look a lot prettier, but like honestly, this is just like the first drawing of this character, so I'm not super picky like I usually am. 
Oh, my shoulder. Y'all, send help. <laughs> I'm dying. My muscles are so tired. I've also been like trying to clean and do chores and keep on top of all the other tasks. Because adult life just does not stop. And it is, it's been a challenge. Like I'm still finding time to read, play games, that kind of thing. So like I'm not just like work only, no play. Like, I'm actually making time for myself to relax, but at the same time, like, it just does not feel like it's enough. Because like I said, y'all, adult life, like, once it starts, it don't stop. Alright. I feel like they would also have very thin lips. Or at the very least, like a thin upper lip. And how many times am I going to do that? I swear. I am a mess. I also feel like I should. Yee. There we go. Corner of the mouth. But also, like, slightly jowly. Because, like, those, those tooths. Those tooths. I kind of know this feeling though, like how when your bottom lip gets stuck out because there's something in front of your teeth. Like I had braces when I was in middle school, or at least I got my braces when I was in my last year of middle school. And like the whole year before that, like I spent my entire seventh grade with what they called a lip bumper. It was basically just one thick wire that like it was held by brackets on like two of my back teeth and it like went in front of my bottom teeth so that my lip would be pushed out in preparation for having braces. I don't know if that's a common thing or if they just wanted to torture me or what. I lost those things so many fucking times, you guys. Cause like they tell you every time, like, oh, you can take it out while you eat. That, that's not a good idea because they don't give you a case or anything for it. Like not like they do with the retainer. So like it would just like, I'd take it out to eat my lunch. And then I'd accidentally throw it away with my lunch tray. Several times. So that happened. And then I'd get in trouble because I accidentally threw my orthodontics away. <laughs> and of course, my parents would have to pay for it. Because if I couldn't retrieve it from the trash can, that meant I had to buy a new one. Which happened quite a few times. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Dad. I feel like if they did prosthetic teeth to look like or like cosplay an orcish character, I would probably just like already be used to the weird shit in my mouth because of my years of braces. Well, I probably need to be in braces again because like I had a complex open bite, which meant that my teeth didn't close together quite right. They still don't. Because after I had my braces taken off and switched to the retainer, my dentist was immediately trying to get my wisdom teeth out. And they had not anticipated how much my jaw would swell. And like for like three whole days, I could not close. Like I couldn't open my jaw enough to eat, much less put my stupid retainer in. So I like couldn't comfortably wear my retainer for like a week. And then it just made the retainer really, really painful to wear. So my teeth started shifting back. And naturally my jaw was the first thing to shift back. So now I got teeth problems again. Honestly, this time I'm thinking about just doing veneers. Like I have to pay off my LASIK first, but I, I honestly think I would rather do veneers than do braces again. Because, like, my spacing and all the crooked teeth, like, that's fine. No issues there. But my bite opened back up again. I don't know, guys. Teeth are weird. Come think of it, though. Eyes are weird, too. 
Honestly, everything outside of internal medicine is weird because, like, for some reason, like, you have to have, like, separate insurance for, like, everything. Who needs teeth? Who needs eyes? Not us, apparently, because we're Americans. <laughs> I make too many jokes about the American healthcare system. Because, honestly, the American healthcare system is a joke. I feel like I'm just rambling nonsense all the time because nobody's ever in my chat. I have no comments to respond to. And like usually if somebody is in my chat, they're not here for long. Makes me kind of sad, y'all. Come hang out with me. I need friends. Like we're probably going to do the earrings silver. My last character wore gold. Weirdly enough, I think the character before that did wear silver. Daisy petals. button again. Daisy on the ear. Very cute. suggested I go get my inner ear checked. I'm a, I'm a little wobbly. Like, I went to go get the allergy testing done, and, like, I kept, like, nearly falling over while I was doing the, the peak flow test. You guys, holy shit, when they did the, the little scratch test, I thought I was gonna lose my mind waiting for the doctor to get in there. I was so itchy. Turns out, much like I suspected or suspected, I am severely allergic to grass and tree pollens. So like every time there's grasses or trees blooming, I die. And it's not really much of an exaggeration either, because like my allergies are so severe that it impacts certain foods. Like I thought I was allergic to watermelon. And like melon in general, turns out I'm not allergic to melon. I'm just so allergic to pollen that my body thinks the foods have pollen in them. Something to do with one of like the like some kind of protein or something that's on it. Like if you cook it, it destroys that protein. So like I can eat if I get a reaction to it when it's like fresh or raw. Then like if I cook it, then I won't have that issue. But I've never had cooked watermelon, and I don't know how I would feel about that. Although I will say, they're recommending me as well for. Um, 
what's it called? The the allergy shots, like the immunotherapy shots. So I guess the goal now is to like desensitize my body to the allergen. That way, hopefully, my body won't freak out every time it sees the protein that's in these foods that makes me have the reaction. And then I can eat these foods without worrying. And also, we'll probably be less deathly around bloom periods. At the very least, that's my hope. Alright, almost done with our boy's face. Let's switch it back this way to come out with these strands. There we go. There he is. There's our boy. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> I mean, I know full well that he is kind of scary looking. Wait just a second to... <laughs> stretch my arm again. My wrist is just dying a little bit. Actually, I think it was OnStar that was trying to call me. Kind of figures. I've been trying to cancel my service because money is tight. I haven't really had a good chance to do so. Which is just another reason why I really need you guys to subscribe, even if you don't watch, and preferably also watch, because <laughs> I'm really trying to get that monetization. I know it's gonna take a long time. Or at the very least, like, buy from the shop, y'all. We're gonna have new stickers up. We're even bringing back the Christmas. I would say I'd stream working on that too, but it's probably gonna get done before the next stream anyways. We've also got a new crow sticker coming up, which is very fitting considering the company is Crowbrat. I feel like we should have more crows. It definitely needs to be more products with crows. We're also trying to get new heat press stuff and sublimation printing for like apparel and like housewares. Like mugs especially. We are a house of coffee drinkers here. The fact that we don't have mugs in our shop yet is kind of like it's kind of criminal, if you ask me. We're gonna have some eventually. Maybe I'll have one up with my own design. And then you guys can have coffee with me. Wouldn't that be fun? I really wish the rotation could be done by hand. I am losing my mind here. <laughs> I really just don't like it. Actually, I'm also gonna save. Uh, where, where am I saving it? I'm just gonna put it on the desktop for now. <laughs> and we're gonna title it Rock. Cause like, it would be some shit if the program decided to just die. As has happened a few times to me before and then I lose the entire drawing. That would suck. Although I still wish I had like a more adjustable desk. Oh, 
I'm also not really aiming for perfect here. We just need to have some art of our boy so our lovely DM knows how to paint him. Because I am far away. And I can't just go over there and help paint him. Although I wish I could. I wish I lived close enough that I could just go over to my brother's house and just be like, SUP NERDS! I love hanging out with them. It's so much fun. Even if we're doing nothing, we still have fun because we're just absolute nerds and we love each other. That's how I am with all of my friends from back home. Like, it doesn't matter how long it's been since I've been around, like, I come back and it's like I never left. It's the best feeling in the world. And, like, being able to go back for that visit, like, even though it was just a visit, that was the best thing ever. I'm also gonna change the shape of that thumb. I'm struggling with these tools to an embarrassing point. I don't usually struggle so much when I'm doing art. Although I do struggle. I am a regular on the struggle bus. I wonder if getting a stress ball would help with like my wrist and my shoulder. I mean, probably not with my shoulder, but probably with my wrist. I should buy one, my sister-in-law sells them. She makes really cute ones. Although I gotta say, she made an angry uterus one, and it was the funniest damn thing I've ever seen. just here. I heard something. I don't know what the hell it was, so. Oh well. If I die, I die. Worst case scenario, the dog was in the cat box again. OMG! Who is that? Yes, I see you trying to get my attention. What do you have to tell me? Did they already leave? I hope they didn't already leave. Like, I see your comments, but like, friend, where did you go? Did you already leave chat? Like, I keep looking down at chat trying to see if, if they'll respond again, but like, where are you? Where did you go? It seems like the whole trend lately is people popping up in, in my chat and then disappearing real fast. You guys gotta stay longer. I need friends to hang out with. Like, would I have more? I guess I would have more viewers if, if I streamed during peak times. But like, then it would be loud, and I would also probably be tired.
Oh my goodness. I wish my arm didn't get so tired so fast. <laughs> I have to take a break like every few seconds, I swear. I don't know if it's because I'm more rested today or if it's because I'm having so much fun doing art on stream for the first time in forever. But like, I feel like the time has just flown by today. Like I thought today was gonna be super slow because like I woke up earlier than usual. Like, usually I get woken up by everyone else in the house waking up, but like today I actually woke up on my own, started getting up and getting breakfast and coffee and like getting ready for the day. And like, it was a nice morning. Even Chief's kid was nicer than usual. And that's, that's really saying something. That child is usually rude as all hell. Like this child out here treating her parents like dang butlers or servants or something. Like, I guess she took the whole playing princess thing a little bit too literally. Alright, I'm going to... Check that real quick before I come back to doing these flowers. So like the whole premise right now that we're running with for this campaign has been, we're essentially hired, we're a hired party for a government official. And like we're carrying out these missions and like, of course, Rock's really only going with it because he's looking for his family. And we have a rare Astro Boy sighting. I wonder if he'll come over here to say hi before he leaves. He's really just at the food station, as usual. Believe it or not, Astro is actually the cuddliest of the cats. He's just not usually in the office. And if he is, it's usually just because the child or the dog drove him so crazy that he just jumped ship and was like, screw this, I'm hiding. Which I can't blame him because the dog gets crazy sometimes and the kid gets even crazier. So like if I were a cat, I'd be hiding in here all day too. Don't get me wrong. But Astro's usually hanging out there in, in the main house with us. Which is nice. He's a very cuddly man. Astro! Astro, come say hi! Yes, I see you! Come say hi! Astro boy! Fine! I guess Astro doesn't want to get famous. Spooky's just hanging out because he's a good boy. So is Sam. Although Sam usually wants to get, like, in my lap while I'm up here. I'm not going to complain too much that he's not. He's not that heavy. Like, I'm not saying that he's, like, fat and that's why I don't want him in my lap, because he's too heavy. Now, he usually just forgets to put his claws away, so he's very pointy. And these boys also very much do not like being groomed. They were very angry when... Like, I feel like out of all of them, Sam would be the most likely to actually let us do it. But it would take a lot of patience. Because, like, we can cradle him like a baby, but as soon as you go to clip his dang nails or his claws, he just acts like you're trying to kill him. Don't know why these cats hate self-care so much. They also tried claw caps once. That did not work. Straight up did not work. Alright, so we got a couple of daisies in here. We're gonna throw...
some like spiky little details because clover flowers are interesting little buds. We're also trying to do some yard work to have a clover lawn out here. It's very fun. I hope it works. I'm a little nervous that it might not grow. I don't know. We're like laying down new dirt so that hopefully it'll grow better because like we got really sandy dirt out here. But like our backyard looks so bare and then what's not bare, the rocks just look horrible. And like the sandy pit, like when we bought this house, it was like a horseshoe pit, which, okay, cool, I guess. Like horseshoe pit is nice. But then like last year, Chief's daughter got a swing set for the backyard as an early Christmas gift. And like the thing is absolutely massive. And yet, instead of playing with the swing set or doing any normal childhood activities, not this child is just trying to destroy everything in the backyard area. Like there's so many spots in the horseshoe pit area that's just dug up because this kid just loves destruction. <laughs> It's terrible. Alright, so... We're gonna put... Another... Dandelion shape here. And then throw in some more petals. some like daisies from the back I guess. And then we're gonna put another clover bud right here. Yeah everyone else like oop. Aw thank you I'm glad the flowers look good. I was a little bit worried that they might not look good but you know what late is better than never. I'm glad you could make it even if it's just for the last little bit. Regardless of lateness or showing up on time, the love is still felt. I feel like I need to put like a second layer just so that I'm not scribbling over my other flowers. But I'm also trying not to focus too much on like finer details. I'm trying to like One more clover bud over here. Yeah, hopefully we'll make that clover lawn work. Like we've got the like the white Dutch clover for one area of the yard, and then we're planning on putting like a mini clover where the horseshoe pit is, because that's where the kid mostly plays. And like <laughs> I don't know about the kids in y'all's life, but this child, like, will, like, she'll throw herself all over the place. Like, reckless as hell. This child out here playing preschool jackass. <laughs> so I was like, she needs something to, like, cushion her fall or something. One lace done. I keep doing that. I keep letting go of the rotate tool and then immediately going to move the canvas over so that I can draw and then I forget that I'm not holding the space bar for the hand so I just scribble the line. But then again I guess that's better than like trying to hit the undo button when you're sketching on paper. <laughs> I know I'm not the only person who's done that. that way. Uh, 
Actually, now that I think about it, there would be another lace running along the inside. There we go. That's a bit better. Actually, I'm going to erase that just a teeny bit more, but with a smaller eraser. That's better. And there, nice little shirt laces. quite a good bit so far. I would say that's pretty good considering... I feel like I should do that. Like, start on the pant leg before I do this arm, but you know what? Who cares about doing things in order, right? At this point I'm just kind of doing things randomly. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm usually just very OCD as an artist. Or some kind of OCD in general. Like, I, I have some of them tendencies. Not enough for it to be considered, like, a full disorder on its own, but, like, enough for it to be a problem. Especially problematic with my daily routine. Like, there's certain things that, like, if I can't do that in a day, I feel like it's not even a day. Like, not having my coffee in the morning. Also, at some point for the game streams, I gotta play the South Park games, because honestly, I have two long-standing special interests, and that is Cats and South Park. Which is why every time there's a cat in my general vicinity, I have to acknowledge their presence and also try to love on them. And also my brain lives in South Park references, so don't be surprised if I make references while I'm streaming. No, I don't want to cut that entire layer. I just wanted to put the... There we go. That's a bit better. We're getting there. So yeah, most likely the book that I had planned to read this week is not going to be here on time. So if it's not here on time, then we will continue this drawing on Wednesday. And if it is here, then instead of drawing, I will be reading to you guys. And we can experience that book together for the first time because I have never read it before. We bought it with the specific intent to read it on stream. And we will be providing a purchase link of any of the books that we bought or that we buy and read on stream. So hopefully you guys can also support the authors that we read on here. Like I said, the book has to get in and we also have to check in with the authors, make sure that they're still comfortable with the idea of us reading it on stream. And basically just making sure we're not stepping on anybody's toes. Because, like, that's the last thing I want as a streamer. It's one of the reasons why I'm not reading, like, 
Like I'm reading the Throne of Glass series on my own right now, but like obviously I don't have permission from that author, so I'm not planning to read that on stream. Plus their, their publishing companies would probably be a lot more strict about things like that than some of these smaller authors from the book groups that I'm in. So most likely won't be able to read like bigger popular authors. Their publishing companies probably would not allow that. And I gotta avoid like copyright strikes and things like that because that's bad for the channel, bad for growth. It also just kind of looks bad on the company too, so I gotta be careful about things like that. The struggles of being from a small company. <laughs> Not that it's a bad thing, we're working with what we've got. We're gonna make it awesome, regardless of how small we are. showing the back side like I feel like it would be showing the bottom and showing where it wraps around to the back of the foot like even if I'm not aiming for perfect I still want the details to look good laces. I didn't even sketch the laces in. Not a super big problem. An easy fix. I did the thing again. Ah, these hotkeys getting me all mixed up because I don't use them enough because I never draw on PC. <laughs> I never really do anything on PC anymore now that I think about it. It used to be how I did everything, and now, like, the only time I'm on PC is, like, when I'm writing or, like, doing official businessy type stuff. Usually the kind of stuff you can't stream. Alright, that knot would probably come down about like that. And then, oops, that wasn't what I wanted hit the eraser button again. There we go. And then we're just gonna throw in that bit. And that one would probably come down about like that. There we go. Shoelaces! Just because you're an adventurer doesn't mean you don't have shoelaces. of the boot before I start trying to do those front laces because that's going to take a lot of time and effort. Patched up heel because our boy spent some time in a prison camp so his boots are probably scuffed up and falling apart. At least that's the way I imagine it. some more details over here before I come back to those boots. Yeah, I would say I did a pretty good bit in these couple hours. More than I usually get done. I am very distractible, so all it takes is just asking me a question and then I'm just completely derailed and never get anything done. <laughs> Thank you. 
which is great when there's a small child in the house who's in the questions phase. It's always, hey, what's this? What's that? Even worse, because like the school is working with the kids on like telling the date and time. So she's always asking, what time is it? What's the clock say? What's the year? What day is it today? Like every five seconds, there's a new question. Worse is when she knows the answer to the question and asks it anyways, because if you don't know the answer, she'll get very mad and then correct you. And I'm like, why does a four-year-old have this much sass in her? Just waking up with all the audacity. Nope, I want it to go that way. Now I'll turn back. And I guess I can go ahead and sketch these bits in. Did it again. <laughs> I'm really good at doing that. Forgetting to hit the space bar. Also sorry if my keyboard is too loud. I have a typewriter keyboard. So it, it makes some really satisfying clickety clacks, which might be really great for me, but might be less great for other people. big fan of the clickety clacks because it makes me feel like I'm being really productive. Like extra productive. Actually that needs to be a bit more over here. Because that would be like knuckle. And ah what? I guess I hit the eyedropper that time. I'm real good at hitting things accidentally. Like, really, really good at it. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm kind of good at doing a lot of things on accident. It's like... <laughs> I still remember playing Nier Automata for the first time, and then finding out that there's joke endings by eating the fish and dying. That was a fun experience. I was just playing the game thinking, ah, what do I got to lose? What, what's, what's the worst that could happen from eating the stupid fish? Turns out a lot can happen from eating that stupid fish. You die when you eat that stupid fish. And that was how I discovered that Nier Automata has joke endings. Ain't it great? <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, some of those joke endings were really funny. Alright, and now we would have... More little holes in the belt. And then we got the rump. And like, honestly, as muscled as Rock is, like, he would probably have an absolute dump truck ass. Like, it's kind of hard to have huge muscles and not just have a huge butt. Let's be real here. Dude's so muscly, he would probably have a bubble butt. This is the hard part, because, like, I gotta do laces. 
Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be lazy about it, and I'm gonna draw, like, the edge. And then I'll draw the laces in. Not just to save time, but also to just save some sanity, you know? <laughs> and a little bit of edging there, too. a bit better. Alright, now we can do some laces. Even if it's not perfect, it's at least something. And like, I like having these nice little details, even if they're not super, super detailed. Most of the time, you don't truly need all the big details like that. Did it again. I feel like I should have like a counter for how many times I mess up the hotkeys. Like how many times in a two hour period do I do this? That's a curiosity. I kind of want to know. All right, that's the laces. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out because it looks like we are basically right at our End time. So there we go. Here is how far we got on our boy rock. We'll see if I'm able to do more next stream. I'm honestly not sure if I will be able to do more. We're going to find out. Uh, but yeah, either it's going to be a book stream or it's going to be an art stream. That's that's what we have to find out. But at the very least, I had fun today. I hope you had fun today. Hopefully more will show up next time and there will be more to talk about. But you know what? It's all right. Even if nobody does, I'll still talk. I'll find something or I'll just talk to the cats. <laughs> you know, that's kind of how I am. But anyways, thank you so much for watching my angels. I will be back on Wednesday, same time. And I hope to see you there. Stay hydrated. Make sure you eat, get some good sleep and take care of your lovely selves because I love you guys. Bye bye.